Even now, the evil seed of what you've done germinates within you. Hello, shit lords and shit ladies. Unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard of the crowd fiasco. When the lid was blown open, it turned out that quite a few skeptics trademark, were involved in Kraut's little Stasi. However, some of them denied any wrongdoings. Among these blameless angels, a curious character known as Devil's Advocate. He was such a good boy who didn't do nothing. That's what he wants you to think. He constructed such a nice little narrative. Would be a shame if someone fact-checked it. You want to give me heat just for being there, that's fine. But anything beyond that is unwarranted. And I say that it is unwarranted for at least 98% of that server. Because if you look at the actual links and the leak itself, even Brave and Ruin said on his own channel in a live stream, you know, the person who actually dropped the leak when he brought on Guardian, who was one of his spies, both of them said that Devil's Advocate and Sandre and many of the other guys did nothing wrong. And so from that standpoint, the idea that I am a doxer is not true. And if anyone Anyone wants to say that it is true show me in that leak where I actually dock someone or even knew about it I had no idea I think most people could see that I've been on numerous live streams with Andy Worski bearing Tonka Saul and many many people have been mentioning that when they review those leaks people like me did nothing wrong except for just being there oh really well crowd invited a journalist from fucking New York Times to the server you know the same New York Times that has become synonymous with fake news. Why? To write a hit piece about the enemies of the people. I mean, uh, evil alt-right Nazis. I mean, people crowd had a bone to pick with. And you knew it, and you were okay with it. Let me quote what you said. I can give you some of the sources they gave me. I can also give you the background on some of the people giving out all of this nonsense. Oh, what's that? Sounds a little bit like you were about to share the dirt that Kraut and his cronies have dug up on the problematic people. But that's totally not doxing, right? You also said this. I'm Dion, aka Devil's Advocate. I'm actually the right-leaning guy here, though I'm sure there are more who are on the side of reason. What is this supposed to mean? Sounds like you're saying that leftists in the crowd's team aren't reasonable. I mean, you're not wrong. But why would you even ally yourself with them? I first discovered the alt-right when traveling in some of the cities I frequented. At first, I didn't take them seriously because they didn't seem like a threat. But over time, these people have shown themselves to be racist, radical identitarians that I was targeting the far left for. Buzzword, buzzword, buzzword. And a bunch of thought-terminating cliches on top. Mmm, Dion. When assessing the level of threat, you should take into account how much actual real-world power a group has. Leftist identitarians control large chunks of academia, mass media, Hollywood and so on. What actual power does the alt-right have? To be consistent, I have to attack these people and show that responsible Trump voters are not the monsters we are painted to be. Painted by whom? Mass media outlets? Like the New York Times? I'm black and a direct descendant of a slave. How fascinating. You forgot to mention your preferred pronouns. The idea of a white ethno state where I'm essentially kicked out of my house when I served in combat for my country brings me to anger. Let's be real here. How likely is this scenario? How can a tiny group demonized by the media and the establishment suddenly acquire enough power to do this? The alt-right and race realists are a cancer to the world and it will take people from the left, right and center to address that cancerous element. Oh yeah, they're such cancer. Having opinions you disapprove of how dare they? Dion, do you realize that alt-writers, race realists, white nationalists and racists aren't the same group? Sure, there's some overlap between them, but to lump them all together is extremely dishonest. I expected better from you. In any case, do you really believe that you are justified in collecting dirt on these people and passing it on to a journalist working for an extremely unethical outlet. Instead of addressing the message, you want to kill the messenger. For a right-winger, you sure act like a regressive leftist. 
there's something else that is really bothering me and that is this idea that because I talked to a journalist that's somehow bad well let's go look at this New York Times journalist and let's see the so-called hit pieces that she's been doing all right let's go through her entire catalog November 29, 2017 clearing the air on climate education a reporter returns to the scene of her story is that a hit piece? no November 14, 2017 should we even want to live past 110 not a hit piece November 13, 2017 the secret to long life it may lurk in the DNA of the oldest among us October 19, 2017 a reporter returns to Ohio to discuss the challenges of teaching climate change not a hit piece October 4, 2017 for music fans Las Vegas, a became a trap. oh yeah that's me a free hit piece right there October 2nd, 2017 Las Vegas shooting victims of fullness I guess she's doing a hit piece on the Las Vegas shooting victims October 1st, 2017 OJ says it's been on the road in Nevada after nine years I mean yeah she told you a hit piece on someone who is as silly as OJ September 23rd, 2017 at four hundred nursing home we called for help but none that made a difference oh yeah a hit piece right there September 20th, 2017 for me I know she's just a criminal's warning about me too now and she's talking about hurricanes and you see this in the very first part of the article September 16th, 2017 please call the authorities home where he collapsed I guess she's doing a hit piece on the September 20th, 2017 for me I know she's a criminal's warning about me too now and she's talking about hurricanes and you see this in the very first part of the article September 16th, 2017 please call the authorities home where he collapsed I guess she's doing a hit piece on the September 20th, 2017 for me I know she's a criminal's warning about me too now and she's talking about hurricanes and you see this in the very first part of the article September 20th, 2017 that there is this thing called the rest of the article. Just the headlines don't give you the whole picture. Ever heard of the saying, don't judge a book by its cover? Let's take a look at some of these fair and balanced articles. Activists rush to save government science data, if they can find it. In a Trump administration that has made clear its disdain for the copious evidence that human activity is warming the planet, researchers feared a broad crusade against the scientific information provided to the public. Reports last week that the administration is proposing deep budget cuts for government agencies including the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and the Environment Protection Agency have fueled new fears of database being axed, if only as a cost-saving measure. Beyond hidden figures nurturing the new black and Latino math wizards, but it has become an increasing source of consternation for some mathematicians, educators and business leaders who see it directly linked to the striking underrepresentation of black and Latinos in high-paying, high-status jobs in finance, science and technology. As those occupations increasingly propel our society, they fear that enrichment programs for mathematically gifted children, while rooted in meritocratic ideals, have become a particularly potent means of reinforcing privilege. But one day, on the subway that week, they talked about Black Lives Matter, a subject that held an emotional resonance, at least for Thais and Jonathan. When it came up, it seemed at first that Emmer had not been able to hear the thread of Thais and Jonathan's conversations over the subway din. In age of Trump, scientists show signs of a political pulse. What history has taught us is that collaboration doesn't work for science, Dr. Prescott Weinstein said. When we work with extremist, racist, Islamophobic or nationalist governments, it doesn't work for science. Michael Lovell, a physics professor who was director of public affairs for the society, but who was terminated without explanation, said that initially people were very worried that if anybody criticized Donald Trump, there would be retribution. People are now getting to the point where they are understanding that this is a guy in the White House who doesn't have a firm grasp on science policy at all, Dr. Lovell said. Now they're mobilizing! Dion, for fuck's sake, did you do any research? Maybe instead of digging dirt on the so-called alt-right, you could have done some background checks on this journalist. This idea that I can't talk to a journalist or talk to anyone that I want to talk to comes across as I see this person as my enemy and even though they've done nothing wrong, I can't talk to them. I can't introduce myself to them because that is all I've done and she was only interested in the science. Well. If she was only interested in science, why did you offer her the info Kraut's goons have collected about the enemies of the state? Also, are you telling me that you didn't consider that the upcoming hit piece would be used to further smear Trump and his supporters? Have you not realized yet that you can't appease these people? They won't compromise. They won't treat you fairly. With friends like you, Trump hardly needs any enemies. All that would be bad enough if the people targeted by Kraut and his skeptic cult were actually white nationalists or whatever, but many of them are not. Paul Joseph Watson, who denounced the alt-right many times and harshly criticized Richard Spencer. Jean-Francois, who isn't even from the US and therefore has no intention to turn it into a Hawaii ethnostate. And Aiden Paladin, although you seem to have a gripe with her after your abysmal debate with JF. They brought on Aiden, which now I see to never trust her. Oh, what's this? Guild by association? Speaking of your debate with JF and Aiden, my face was tired from all the face palming. 
you managed to argue that there is no IQ gap between races and also come up with non-genetic explanation for the existence of said gap at the same time, I guess that after mastering the arcane art of doublethink, you decided you could have your cake and eat it too. Unfortunately, the cake is a lie. Do you want to know why I call you a secular creationist? Simple. Creationists approach research in an as backwards way. They have a conclusion already, so the research consists of trying to gather evidence to support it. The thought that the conclusion might be wrong never crosses their mind. Or, as Tim Minchin eloquently said, Science adjusts its views based on what's observed. Faith is the denial of observations so that belief can be preserved. You and the rest of protists have the same mindset. Your goal wasn't to go wherever the evidence leads you. No, your goal was to debunk race realism. Debunk? Because you already decided that it's false. This is why you try to dismiss the studies that JF and Aiden referenced even before you looked at them. I did not include any clips from that debate, but I'll leave a link in the description so my viewers can check it for themselves. Be warned, it's not a fun experience. So there you have it, ladies and gents. This video came out longer than I expected, so I won't take any more of your time. Before I go, I'd like to thank Occam's Router for providing additional voiceover. Check out his channel, link in the description. Farewell and stay problematic. And it feels so rough It's your own damn fault Your thoughts weren't free enough will be posted and the bloggers will rage this white knight will fight for myers the sage you'll be sorry you disagreed with the majority say because we'll ban hammer your ass it's the rational way